and a story developing in the Capitol. Former Vice President Mike Pence might have to testify against his former boss in a criminal investigation. He has been subpoenaed by the special counsel looking into efforts by former President Trump and his allies to overturn the results of the 2020 election. ABC's Faith Abubi has the latest from Washington. This morning, new signs that the sweeping investigation into the role former President Donald Trump and his allies played in the January 6th Capitol attack is now intensifying. And if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. Special Counsel Jack Smith, appointed by the Attorney General just last November to oversee the January 6th probe, wants former Vice President Mike Pence to testify under oath. Multiple sources telling ABC News that after months of negotiating with the former Vice President's attorneys, Smith has issued a subpoena to compel Pence's testimony. Former U.S. Attorney Barbara McQuaid on MSNBC. And so I think the things that Donald Trump said to Mike Pence that could reveal whether he knew he had actually lost the election and that what he was doing was uh, an improper effort to retain office. Pence faced enormous pressure from Trump and his allies to overturn the 2020 election results. I hope Mike is going to do the right thing. I hope so. A mob of Trump supporters later storming the U.S. Capitol after Pence made it clear he would certify the election tally for Joe Biden. In a November interview with ABC Pence News, Pence called Trump's words on January 6th reckless. The president's words that day at the rally endangered me and my family and everyone at the Capitol building. But it's still unclear whether the former vice president will comply with a special counsel's subpoena. It's a big deal in the sense that uh, it's part of the Justice Department and more specifically special counsel Jack Smith's uh, promise uh, to overturn uh, uh, every stone. And a spokesperson for Pence did not immediately respond to an ABC News request for comment. And the special counsel's office declined to speak on the matter. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.